What's up, Collider fans? Josh McCook here with David Griffin, San Diego Comic Con 2017. After 10 hours in a uh, ballroom 20, there we are crushing it. Uh, I hope the guy in front of us who cleared his throat every 10 minutes is doing better because uh, we are we are struggling right now, but we made it. Let's start off. We saw every TV show starting with Once Upon a Time, and uh, it was amazing. It was. Uh, if you guys love Once Upon a Time, I got some breaking news. Spoiler alert. Oh, this isn't the Once Upon a Time review. <laughs> my bad on that one. My bad. We're no, talking. We're Once Upon a Time's like rebooted. It's completely changed. Uh, it was actually a very interesting it panel. It was a guy on rebooted. a motorcycle. Yeah. <laughs> How does he get gas in the ferry land? Nobody Where's knows. Where's the shell station? It doesn't exist. Exactly. Sorry, uh, we're getting off topic. I'm off sorry. topic. Off Let's talk. We'll talk Supergirl. Let's Ooh. talk Supergirl. I will say, of the five WB uh, or w. Is that how many Warner Brothers saw? CW. There's five <laughs> CW show panels. They started with Supergirl, mm -hmm. um, and I would like to point out whoever yelled at me at Twitter multiple times. The last name is Benoist, not Benoist. So and she's not Benoist. French. It's not Benoit. Benoit. Yeah. Melissa Benoist, aka Supergirl. I will say of those panels, the Supergirl was pretty entertaining. It I was. really liked it because they uh, they introduced Odette Annabelle, who we know mm -hmm. from Banshee. Right. We're we'll playing Rain, a new uh, villain. Also Morgan Edge. Yep. Uh, mm -hmm. They're introducing another uh, classic DC villain within Supergirl, and they showed us a new trailer. What do you think of the trailer? I thought I loved the trailer too, and also don't forget we also have <clears throat> Leon Luther is going to be a full time character now. She's yeah. uh, Katie McGrath. Yes, who I love from Merlin. This is a BBC show. She walked out. Like, she got a big reception. Big reception because she's gorgeous yes. and she's excellent on the show. She has great chemistry with Kara Danvers. I love the trailer. Yeah, you know we also had Monel there. Yeah, you know we didn't get a lot of him in the trailer because we know he's off floating in space. Uh, it looks like he got sucked through a portal and went in hyperspace, but he is. Definitely coming back. Well, I mean, he's they, coming back. They're not, they obviously didn't tell us when he's coming no, back. No, no spoilers. Uh, but that he's somewhere in a pod, right? Doing something. But uh, <laughs> we we got what was kind of cool about the the Supergirl trailer mm -hmm. is that we got glimpses of these new villains, but not really a ton of action per se. No, yeah. Which which I kind of like about Supergirl because there's a lot of character development and they have a lot of great relationships within that. We also you know don't really know much about anything with uh, everybody's favorite ship on Supergirl, which is Sanvers as they mm -hmm. call it, uh, a beautiful. Yeah, I guess something was uh, the actress. I guess she had some, some family issues, and of course you know our thoughts are are with her. Everybody said you know tweet her out, send send her some love. I guess yeah. she needs some love right now. Yeah, uh, but I, I think overall I think that the Supergirl trailer leads us great into what was obviously their sophomore season. Mm -hmm first season on the CW and was a just a show night and day that turned because right. when it was on CBS it was a little too frilly a little bit too many flowers it got on the CW it, it had a really nice dark turn and this there. looks like it's going to be even darker this season because she's you know having to deal with the loss of Manel the love of her life you know yeah. she's having to deal without uh, having him by her side and what's she going to do how's she going to react I mean she still has a lot of forces uh, pulling against her. we also learned John Jones yes. is going to have his dad yeah. So the Martian voices. Manhunter's dad's coming in, which is cool. And Martian Manhunter's dad, who is the actual voice of Martian Manhunter right. in the Justice League animated series. Yeah, so they're keeping it all in the family. I think this is going to be a great season. Yeah, I do mm -hmm. too. Uh, the family keeps getting bigger on Supergirl. Yes. A, a, a struggle in duality with Kara Danvers and somehow all of us not knowing it's her when she mm -hmm. takes her glasses off. A classic comic book trope that I still am confused by. But <laughs> Supergirl, we don't know if they didn't. They said Superman will be back. They just don't know we when. We don't know when, yeah. We don't know that when. That costs money. Uh, there was Give no, the boy his own show. And there wasn't, there was no questions about what the, this crossover is going to be like this year. We didn't, they didn't really talk much about it. I think uh, what happened last season, I think the Arrow universe is going to come to her, yeah. as opposed to you know her coming to their side. So I think whatever happens, the team's got to rally together in, in her in her universe. Maybe even Black Lightning will show up. There you they go. They haven't confirmed that either, but yeah. Supergirl panel, uh, Ballroom Twenty here at San Diego Comic Con Twenty Seventeen. Overall, a positive. David, where can the good people find you on the internet? Uh, at Griffin De on Instagram and Twitter. At Josh McCuga, Twitter and Instagram. Collider TV Talk Monday. Two days from now, uh, we'll recap all the things that were happening, all Comic-Con. Uh, thank you to CW for Supergirl. We're, we're breaking them all down, so stick around for all of the other videos featuring uh, the CW shows. Just stay tuned. Keep watching. Collider, San Diego Comic-Con 2017.